Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Ghosts of Tsushima with Dude Long Couch. What's up, Blue? What's up, Joe? What's up, Norman? Thank you guys for coming out. Um, okay, let's get some housekeeping out of the way real quick. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> really sorry that I haven't streamed or made content really in the last two weeks, except for that one Stardew Valley stream that didn't really last all that long. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've talked about this a lot, but you might not know. Uh, I have degenerative disc disease. Um, and it's a weird thing. It's not actually a disease. I don't know why they call it that. It's it's not a disease. It's like a genetic condition thing in my back, at the base of my spine, that uh, makes my back hurt a lot. Um, it seems to be like once or twice a year, I'll, I'll get really acute pain in my back. And sometimes it pinches nerves running down my leg. And it just, it hurts to do anything. I, I can barely live my life when this happens. And uh, it popped up again like two weeks ago. And I've just been kind of dealing with that and living with that. Um, it hasn't been as bad this time as it has been in the past, which I'm grateful for. And I feel like it's kind of starting to clear up a little bit already. Like it's not 100% better, but it is a little better. And I'm feeling particularly better right now just because I, I just iced it down for like an hour and... Uh, I don't know. I don't know why, but I'm just, I'm grateful for it, you know? <laughs> so anyways, that's why I haven't been on stream, but I'm hoping to get back into it, especially because Ghost of Tsushima just came out, which is a game I've been waiting for for a while. This is a samurai open world game. I've, I've heard it compared to Assassin's Creed, actually, um, which is interesting because I'm actually playing Assassin's Creed Unity for the first time right now, so I'll get to compare them directly. But um, I've heard a lot of good things. I've, heard, I've also heard a couple not bad things, but a couple of like middling things about this game. And I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to save judgment, obviously, but I've heard mostly good things and uh, I'm excited to do it. So let's stop wasting time. Let's start it up. By the way, the launch edition of this game comes with this beautiful dynamic theme that you're seeing here. Okay. So this is the loading screen for the game, but the dynamic theme is the same thing. It just has the leaves actually in motion, which is a really cool effect because it looks like they're blowing from like the front of your screen towards the back. And I've never seen one quite like that before, so I thought it was really cool. One of those games you end up picking up when the PS5 comes out. That's fair. I've heard that it doesn't run great on the base PS4, which is what I have, but we're going to have to deal with that. <laughs> Hope it's not a, co a copycat version of Sekiro. I don't think it is. Um... From what I've heard, it doesn't really have anything in common with Sekiro, so I wouldn't worry about that. And it's going to throw us right into the opening cutscene here, because I already loaded the game up and uh, made my option selections, and then it just kind of throws you right into the game, so I had to actually close the software. The Mongol Empire is anyway. invading our home. They are brutal. Relentless. Unstoppable. We are 80 samurai against an army fighting to slow the invasion. Today, I die for my people. There must be thousands of them. We will face death and defend our home. Tradition, courage, honor, they are what make us. We are the warriors of Tsushima. We are samurai! Yeah! Oh! Samurai, cool. Dadachi, go break their spirits. Hey! Not as cool as ninjas, but... What are you gonna do about that? What's up, Monster? Thanks for coming out, man. How was the spam? The spam has not arrived yet, unfortunately. It wasn't a prime delivery, so it's not gonna be here for a couple days, but I know it's gonna be delicious. Hickory smoked spam is delicious, it turns out. Outsiders! 
Send your finest warrior to face me. Nada, Jinnida. I am Haru Nobu Adachi, descendant of the legendary Yoshi Nobu Adachi. <laughs> the hell was that? Oh my god! Wow. That was unexpected. This game isn't screwing around, guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this game is basically Dynasty Warriors. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, did they kill the horse already? This game's trying to outdo The Last of Us, both in terms of violence and how quickly they kill the horse. <laughs> the Last of Us 2. I need you with me. We've lost so many. We have to keep pushing, Lord Sakai. Even if it costs us our lives. As a command, Lord Shimura. Okay, so let me let me just address something real quick here. Sorry, I know I'm killing the flow here. Um, so, as I said, I loaded the game up one time, and I went through the options that it immediately kicks you into. Um, I, I chose English language for the dialogue. We'll talk about that a bit later. Um, but I just want to say, because I know somebody's going to mention this, like on the YouTube archive, the, the very start of that cutscene that we just watched, the beginning was cut off. If it seemed like it just came in really abruptly... That's because it did. I don't know why games do this. I, I, I have a hate. I have a real hate for games that don't give you a, a proper start screen. And more and more games are doing that now where instead of actually like letting you like hit start and then choose your game or whatever, it just throws you right into it after you make a couple of selections. So I did that and then the cutscene started playing and I immediately closed the game software. But apparently there's a checkpoint about five seconds into the cutscene, which made it pick up from there when I loaded it back up. So we did miss about five seconds of the opening cutscene, which is like a really pretty view of like these leaves floating through the air or something. I don't know. I, I can't describe it. We literally missed nothing of relevance, but we did miss like five seconds of a cutscene. Sorry. I don't know why games are like that now. That's where we're at. Okay. <laughs> well, that guy was moving funny. I think he was trying to dance. That guy was already dead. You were just being Men, a dick. We must hunt down the Mongol leader. Everyone, with me. All right, hunting down the Mongol leader. More Mongol dogs. Hunt them down. That's racist. <laughs> Alright, got the basic attack down pretty good. Very bloody game. Taking the shit out of these guys. Damn. Is this game gonna teach me how to like deflect or anything like that? This guy's got a shield. Is 
not gonna save you. But we're getting down to just... Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Alright, buddy, it's just you and me now. We're all that's left. There is only one path for us. Find the Mongol leader and end the beer. I'll fight beside you to the end. I know. That was pretty slick the way they did that. The way everybody just kind of died around you, and you didn't even notice until it was done. Is this historically accurate? So from what I understand, short answer, no. Um, it's set in the 13th century during the Mongol invasion of, I don't know where, somewhere in Japan, I, I guess. Oh, uh, which did actually happen for real in history, but apparently everything else about it is original. Characters, story, everything's made up. It's just the setting that is true. Mongols are winning, right? Like they just wiped us out. I am Kotan, cousin of Kublai, grandson of Genghis. Sharpening your sword. Do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language, your traditions, your beliefs, which villages to tame and which to burn. So I'll ask you once again, Samurai. Do you surrender? That's a no. Alright, so that's the end of the story. The Mongols won, and uh, they control Japan now, I guess. That guy looks like Ray Winston. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're not dead. of life in us. Oh. This game looks good. So far, I haven't noticed any issues with the performance. It seems to be running at a stable frame rate. But we haven't gotten into the real game yet, obviously.
Alexis. Okay. How did I get here? No weapons, just supplies. Hmm. So we're on our own. Someone worked hard to keep me alive. Need to keep moving. Okay. Looks like there's still some shit going on down here. Mongols. It's always interesting watching NPCs fight each other. Because have you guys noticed they've never really found a way to make it look good? Anytime you watch NPCs fighting in a game, it's just... I don't know, that, that tech hasn't evolved. <laughs> Someone saved me. Hit me back here. Maybe they have my sword. Okay. Are these guys friend or foe? Do not raise the alarm. Okay. So, not friends. Yeah, my game chair is a DX racer. It's it's pretty good. I spent good money on it. But it's the nature of the problem I have in my back is such that conditions are always changing in my lower spine, like the discs change and get crappy and shift around. Alma. And it makes it so that every time the pain comes back, it's different. Sometimes the sitting posture feels good. Sometimes it hurts. Right now, it hurts. <laughs> so even with a good chair, I'm very uncomfortable. Someone was sharpening their blade. A warrior. Broken. Hmm. Better than nothing. Indeed. So, I don't remember if I said it already, but uh, this is a game developed by Sucker Punch, who is a developer I like a lot. They made the Sly Cooper games and the Infamous games. Back inside. No. How are your wounds? Can you run? I... I think so. Where's my sword? Not here. You're off here. I'll take care of this. Please hide. Oh, oh don't hurt me. She of the mini. Christ. These guys are dicks. Get him. Oh, gotcha, bitch. I like this lady. She got Moxie. Who are you? I'm Yuna. <laughs> you know what you're doing with that knife. You want your sword? Follow me. Okay. I do want my sword. Out. Long enough for the Mongols to conquer half the island. I will say the movement feels pretty good. Just running around. He's got a little bit of momentum to it, but not so much that it makes it annoying to stop and change direction. Like it does in, say, like a Rockstar game. Or Assassin's Creed. <laughs> the old ones, anyway. R3 to crouch. Got it. Okay. Oh, we got the Splinter Cell style indicator, too. I like that. Let's move. This way. I'm going to stick with you. Wait. There's nothing we can do for her. But I can save the others. So is she the one who patched me up? Lord Shimura was with me on the battlefield. The Jito? Forget him. Hmm. 
Yuna, wait. Lord Shimura is my uncle. You're Jin Sakai? The Jito's nephew? I have to know. Did he survive? I think so. The Mongols took him prisoner. Where did they take him? East, along the coast. Toward Castle Canada. They must be holding him inside, celebrating their victory. I could take them by surprise. You'll be killed. Or I'll rescue Lord Shimura. Then help him drive the Mongols into the sea. He can contact the Shogun, call for reinforcements. I didn't nurse you back to health to watch you throw your life away. Why did you save me? I couldn't leave you to die. I need your help. Lord Shimura can help our whole island. And he's the only family I have left. Let's move. I like this guy's voice actor too. Don't know who it is, but he's got a clean voice. She sounds good, you know. These guys are going scorched earth. We can't help him now. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. So like. I get not showing mercy to the soldiers, Look up. Raiders. but these people are just villagers. The island, taking slaves, killing the here. I guess that was the way of war back then, and still is in some parts of the world today. If your army got defeated, Oof. you pretty much got subjugated too. <laughs> Didn't matter if you were innocent or not. Us. what's up man thanks for coming out come on uh you, you haven't missed much you've missed like 20 minutes basically oh god we'll take the rooftops shit okay uh we're a samurai in japan scavenge battlefields you're a thief when i need something i take it like my katana i traded it for food and medicine you what don't worry we'll find the buyer Put your sword back. <laughs> we'll screw that guy over. Um, the Mongols came and invaded, and we tried to fight them off, but they killed everybody. Take whatever supplies you can carry. This is someone's house. And they're not coming back. Yeah, fuck them. I'm taking all this stuff. Um, they killed like the entire army except for me and this this other guy. And. Then we got saved by this girl, Yuna. She patched up our wounds and kept us alive. And now we're trying to go get our sword so that we can keep fighting, I guess. And that's where we're at. Through here. This is gonna be a wall crawling game. I'm gonna have to crawl every wall. The man I traded your sword to lives just up ahead. Switch the house. They will answer for this. Maybe they hear you, Kadu. They must be here. You wouldn't think that they would take it for their, their own, right? Because they all already have their stuff. But maybe they needed some extras. Who knows? Valerian, what's up, man? Thank you for coming out. Uh, yeah, Gonus, I feel... Nephew to the great Lord Shimura. And I am no coward! <laughs> Your enemy is no match for you. 
But... You still lack control. I was practicing. With your father's weapon? The sword of Clan Sakai has saved lives and ended wars. Who did this to you? No one. I will teach you to defend yourself. I know how to fight. To master your blade, you must first control your emotions. Like the four wood. Uncle. Show me. Flashback training sequence. Let's see what you've been practicing. Try to strike me. Yes, Uncle. Quick attack, heavy attack, and then hold triangle for a stab attack. I am ready. I love the strike me. environment here. It is your turn to attack, Jin. Cool. It is your turn to attack, Jin. Well done. If you'd fought like that, your attacker would not have bruised you so easily. It wasn't a fair fight. Imagine he's returned to finish what he started. And he'll use every dirty trick he knows. How will you defend yourself? Uh, I'll kick dirt in his eyes. Then break his nose. See how big he feels with a mouthful of blood. A small victory achieved without honor. When a samurai faces a devious foe, he must rise above them and never sink to their level, no matter how tempting. Yes, uncle. Now, break through my defenses. Show me Jin Sakai as a warrior of great courage. Well, okay. Tap triangle to break defense and stagger break enemy. my block with a heavy attack, then strike quickly. Okay. Pretty standard stuff. Heavy attack yeah. will unbalance your foe. Follow with a quick strike. So uh, I, I feel okay for right now, but we'll see how it goes. The longer I stay sitting here, the worse it's gonna get. So my block with a heavy attack. I don't know how long I'll be able to stream for today. Enough! <laughs> I yield. You let me win. Not at all. If you held the real sword, I would be dead. Really? I would never lie to you, Jin. Now for a change, try to block my attacks. I will not go easy on you. Good. A fine block. Okay, it's pretty easy. I'm sore. Can we take a break? We're not finished yet. Find your resolve and fight through the pain. Good. This is your health. <laughs> This is your resolve meter. Draw on your resolve to heal and perform other special abilities. Okay. Gain resolve by killing enemies, parrying attacks, or using other advanced skills. So, in order to heal, we have to not suck at the game. Wonder how that works in practice. It's time you learn to parry. Wait for me to make the first move. Once I strike, block my attack. Fine parry. You must parry before I strike. Camera angle made it kind of hard. Good form, Jin. You're improving. Need to catch your breath? <laughs> it will take more than a child to knock the wind out of me. <laughs> now then, let's see you defend against a spear. Dodge my spear, then follow up with a counterattack. Oh shit, I, I just instinctively hit circle to dodge, and I ended up skipping the tutorial. That's funny. Remember, dodge, then counterattack. Okay. Excellent dodge. I am vulnerable after attacking. Excellent counter. This seems about what I expected from the 
combat system. It feels responsive. You see, there is no weapon, no warrior you cannot overcome. Thank you for these lessons, Uncle. We are not finished yet. Jin Sakai, will you honor me with a sparring match? I wouldn't want to hurt you. If you're that confident, let's make this interesting. The first to land five strikes gets to choose dinner. I hope you like octopus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there no lock on? Well struck, Uncle. Uh, that's kind of weird. What the fuck? Very good, Jim. It feels really weird not having a lock on. You're too fast. Come on, I, I wrung him out. That should count. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How did you do that? Alright, I won. Thanks, Gonus. I appreciate that, man. It, it seems to be slowly getting better. I have one last question. For generations, our families have lived by a code. Tell me the virtues that guide us. Loyalty to our Lord. Control over our emotions. And... You know this. Honor. To fight bravely and uphold the legacy of Clan Sakai. Those are your father's words. What does honor mean to you? I guess... Protecting people. The ones who can't fight for themselves. Agreed. You have a good heart. But first... We must show everyone that we serve our lord with courage, integrity, and self-control. You say that like it's easy. It's never easy, Jin. I struggle with it every day. But we must set an example for our people by remaining true to our code and to ourselves. That is the meaning of honor. Ah, not her samurai. <laughs> Just in time. Let's do this. Easy. Nothing to it, guys. Good. Give me the spear. You found your sword. Where can I find a horse? The stables aren't far. This way. Yay. Let's go find Comet. Stables. Behind that burning farmhouse. Follow me. Okay. Three guys. Two for me, one for you. Oh, she has a bow. Give me that bow. We can get close, slit their throats, and kill them without a sound. Without honor. I will not break my code. Oh, we're gonna break that code a lot. Face me, invader! <laughs> Not this time, apparently. Tip. Point L to target enemies with your sword attacks. Okay. Target to pulsing enemy. So you can kind of switch targets really quickly and seamlessly. That's close. We can't save everyone. I'm done running, and I can finally help. Damn it. I like how that said end suffering. Not like finish or assassinate or anything. Just put him out of his misery. <laughs> it's like it implies that you're a bad person if you don't do it. <laughs> it's pretty funny to me. More gods. Don't let anyone escape. A 
just ready, Tina. Okay. Nice. Thank you, my lord. They said all the samurai were dead. Do you have somewhere to hide? I heard Golden Temple might be safe. Go. Stay off the roads. And guard your son with your life. You risked your life for them. They couldn't defend themselves. And I... I can't let more of our people die. They're not the only ones who need you. My brother. The Mongols took him. That's why you saved me. Taka is my only family. And Lord Shimura is mine. Please. I just want my brother back. I'll help you find him after I save my uncle. I promise. I'm coming with you. Stables is she going to be our companion ahead. for the whole game? I didn't think this was that kind of game. Oh. Just going to let her take some shots and... All right. Oh, I think he just deflected me. But then she shot him. That was awesome. Oops. Let's get to the horses. So I was It's it's kind of weird. There's a there's a visible sign when you can dodge the spear attack, but there's no visual indicator for a sword attack. Which is kind of what I was looking for, just for a split second there. That's what my brain wanted. There's but there's not. Horses. A few we didn't take into battle. Lucky for them. And us. Which horse do you want? Which horse do I want, guys? Well, this one looks cool. He's all black. That one's white. This one's, uh... Kind of got, like, an Oreo mix thing going on. Oh no, none of these really look like Comet. But let's go with this one, I guess. The Dapple Horse will be with you for your entire journey. <laughs> this is a big <laughs> choice, guys. Oh no, maybe we should go with the black one. Because this is going to be like a bloody quest for vengeance, right? So we've got Dapple, we've got black, and white. Yeah, okay. Is this like a <laughs> like a morality thing? Like, are you going to be all white, all black, or are you going to be somewhere in the middle? <laughs> ah, fuck it, I'm going black. Easy there. He suits you. And he needs a name. <laughs> what? We can only pick from three names. So trust. Sky or Shadow? Nobu, Sora, or Kage? Kage is a good name for a black horse, right? Kage, born from the darkness. Are you sure? I mean, you don't really have a lot of options there. You're getting a Cartho Nassi feeling on this guy? Really? That's that's a deep pool, man. <laughs> How many people even know who Cartho Nassi is? Like that's the guy from uh, Knights of the Old Republic, right? It's like that game's like twenty years old. Yeah, that's what I thought. You'd only want to play with honor in this game because it's what the protagonists want. <laughs> I I think I'll probably be doing a mix of stealth and direct combat, so that's what I hope to do. Actually, I want to do a lot of bow stuff. You guys know I love the bow. Town.
Can't believe we haven't gotten a KOTOR remake yet. That'd be cool. That was a good game. I don't even love RPGs that much, but I remember enjoying that game. Alright, so they're holding our uncle in the castle. We gotta go save him. The walls are too high to climb. We could cause a distraction. Sneak in. No. We walk in the front gate. Kotun Khan set fire to our best swordsmen. Humiliated my uncle. Butchered the warriors of Tsushima. I'm going to repay his kindness. By repeating the same mistakes that got your friends killed. That's what the Mongols will think. But this time, I'll strike first. Is Jin going to be an ass about this for the whole game? Chihan, thank you for the follow. Wait here until I finish them. And, oh, Jeremy Ryan extended his tier one subscription through August. Thank you for that, Jeremy. Really appreciate that, man. I don't know why that didn't show up in the mini feed. That's weird. But that happens sometimes. Standoffs. Okay, when approaching enemy territory, you can challenge foes to a standoff. Once your enemy approaches, hold triangle. As soon as they attack, release triangle to defeat them in one deadly strike. Really? Okay. Hold it and then release it. Thanks for coming out, Jeremy. I appreciate that, man. Hey, uh, if you guys are not following Jeremy Ryan, you should do that. Jeremy, are you okay if I tell my viewers, like, what your job is? Who you are? I've come for Lord Shimura. You got who in here? That's not. Got him. That's cool. Wow. Ow. Okay, I suck. I, I can tell already that this camera is going to be a, a bit of a problem. I'm surprised. What's all that noise? Not sure. Mongols fired them off at the beach. Sounds like they have guns. In the 13th century, is that historically accurate? Really not sure. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's an instant kill if you get that if you get that off just right. You don't mind? Cool. So guys, Jeremy Ryan is a guy who has been supporting me for a long time uh, through my YouTube channel and Twitch. And I got in touch with him on Twitter. It turns out he's a senior animator for Rocksteady, who you may know as the developers of the Batman Arkham games. Uh, so he's a real badass, and he streams a lot of games that he's worked on himself and is just able to go over stuff in a really insightful way because he knows a lot about the actual game development process because he actually does it for a living. And he's just... He's able to, to speak to the, 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 the development of video games in a way that's really interesting. Uh, something that I could never do. So, uh, he's an awesome dude. You should really give him a follow and watch some of his streams because he's awesome. So far, I'm kind of digging this combat. Like, I, I had heard different things about it. I heard it was good, I heard it was bad, I heard it was, like, everything in the middle. I didn't really know. Um, just based on this so far, I, I think it's pretty good. Really needs a lock-on, though, because the camera just gets... problematic really quickly, you know? Dropping by to say hey. Well, I'm glad you did, man. I appreciate it. Keep moving. Oh shit! I 
shooting flaming arrows at us? I could end his suffer- oh, it's that guy. I thought it was talking about the standing guy when it said end suffering. And I was like, oh, that's gonna be awesome. Okay. Jesus. It's not very honorable to stab somebody when he's we fighting somebody else, going. is it? I have to fall back. Alone? Keep the path clear. When I find Lord Shimura, we'll need a quick escape. I'll get the horses ready. Do it. If I'm not back soon, ride for the forest. Okay. Ow! Whoa! Billy! That happened really quickly. What now? Oh, that's what now. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, they got like a guard break meter. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Let's see how that works. What about a stab? Oh, shit. See, look at this. Oh, uh, already. Come on, camera. on your toes. This is normal mode, by the way. This game has easy, normal, and hard. Oh, shit. <laughs> they give you a little countdown. Okay. They don't like you exploring, apparently. Go back where you came from. Or death is imminent. Whoa, I didn't even see that guy. Rick. Dodging arrows. Before firing arrows, Muggle archers will call out and signal their allies to duck. Well, that's nice of them. Can I make him shoot his own dude? Uh, doing some science here, guys. Uh, that seems really hard to pull off. If it is even possible. Hey, where are you going? Alright. It's enough of that. Whew. You do take damage quick, though. What the hell's going on up here? A lot of nothing. Yeah. Me. What's the point of a standoff if you still have to fight everybody anyway? Other than it's just cool. Oh, it refills all your resolve or whatever it is. That's cool. Chest stab for you. Chest stab for you. Chest stab for you. The stab attack is OP. Sounds good, Vonster. Thanks a lot, man. Cousin Kat! 
Hope you have a good night, dude. Oh, you're getting some lag on the stream. Is anybody else lagging? It still looks good to me. I am Jin Sakai, nephew of Lord Shimura. You killed my father. <laughs> Prepare to die. I have come to avenge his honor. <laughs> Thanks, Norman. Jin. Your uncle has told me much about you, Jin Sakai. I will show him his nephew, broken and humiliated, begging to join the Mongol Empire. Jin. <laughs> this is your time, Lord Sakai. Epic showdown time. Your uncle is watching. Yeah, he came to all my baseball games too. He's just a good dude like that. Submit, Slit your throat. All right, so yeah, I was gonna say we gotta create an opening somehow here. Oh shit! On my face, that was a lot of damage. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, he does two of them. Oh wow! Was I supposed to lose that? Surrender. Show your uncle how easily he can bring peace to your home. Ellen Arrow has subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Oh, shit. surprised he uh, didn't make sure we were dead first I failed again father Jin help me Young master, it's time. I'm coming, Yuriko. The whole island has come to mourn your father. Can't you send them away? You must face them, Jin. You are now the master of Clan Sakai. Yes. You're not alone, Jin. Your father is the wind at your back. Your mother, the birds in the trees. And uncle? He will tell you. At your father's pyre. Thank you, Hiriko. Okay. I wasn't laughing at that line of dialogue. I was laughing at how it reminded me of The Wind Beneath My Wings, that song. It was, it was just a silly connection my brain made. This game does not like letting you explore. There's like invisible walls and, you know, apocalypse timers everywhere. But it also, that allows them to control the cinematography a little bit. And it's a very good looking game, environmentally speaking. Like, look at this. Holy shit. 
that lighting is amazing. And it's kind of killing the frame rate. <laughs> but if you ever need guidance, Clan Adachi will help you. Thanks, Adachi. Well, everybody's showing their respect. This is cool. Your father protected the people above all else. A true samurai. Save him. I was a coward. Jin, you are a samurai. He died because of me. Your father fell in battle saving his only son. His reward is a warrior's death. Now you will carry on his legacy. Your father's spirit resides within this blade. Does it? He is always with you. I feel like the whole father dying thing happened really quickly and unceremoniously. Like, we know almost nothing about the circumstances, but I guess it doesn't matter for this story. It's not the point of this story. I take it. They're just setting up, like, why we're close to our uncle. Getting ready to commit seppuku. How do I save? Almost looked that way. He's the wind at our back, guys. And the wind beneath my wings. Killing people with the soul of your father sounds weird. Yeah, a little bit. But if you're killing the right people, something tells me dad wouldn't mind. <laughs> Follow the wind, okay? Dude, look at these individual blades of grass. Holy shit. This game, graphically speaking, so far seems like a textbook example of, like, less is more. You know, like, on a technical level, everything looks fine, but it's not going to win any awards. Like, the faces and the facial animations and stuff like that. Like, they're just, they're just good enough, you know? But then you get into a place like this... And the effects of this grass, the way it sways in the wind. Like, your your focus is drawn to that, and it looks so good. Okay, I was going to say, there's, there should be a sprint button. And it's clicking in the left stick. You know. Jin, 
What happened? I found Lord Shimra. I could have saved him. But the Khan was there. I failed my uncle. At least you're in one piece. <clears throat> I swore to protect this island with my life. But now the Mongols have stolen our home. Killed our samurai. You forgot what it's like to fight someone stronger than you. To feel weak. Sometimes when you're staring death in the face, you have to do whatever it takes to survive. The Khan expects to fight a war against the samurai. He will anticipate our every move, unless we find new ways to surprise him. That's how we'll save Lord Shimura, and retake our home. You'll need some help. Riders. The Khan's attack dogs. There's too many of them! Hide! In the grass! But that's dishonorable. Oh shit. <laughs> I clicked left stick instead of right stick. Okay. Well, I guess we're not allowed to be seen for this sequence. Fair enough. The Khan's attack dogs. There's too many of them. Hide in the grass. I'm a big fan of that sliding thing you can do. Ah, uh, the almighty tall grass. They must be searching for you. Bastards scared off the horses. They're samurai mounts, trained to return to their masters. Nice. Nice trick. <laughs> the Mongols must be hunting you. We should split up. I'll draw their attention while you escape. I'm not leaving your side until we've saved my brother. First, I need to find more allies. Trained warriors. Like Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi. They can help. My brother can help too. Once we save him, you'll have the island's best blacksmith in your debt. He'll make whatever tool you need to save your uncle. Something to scale the castle walls? You dream it, Taka can make it. Okay. Where are they holding him? He was captured near Kechi. Ride there and ask around. I'll join you soon. Taka won't last long in the Mongol cage. You know, we will save your brother. And your uncle. Probably get some new armor first. The stuff I'm wearing still looks pretty rough. I look pretty rough. Need a shower. That was a bad fail screen. Yeah. I, I think it's because they're trying to keep the UI to a minimum in this game. But I agree it could have been designed better. I love this. Look at this. Sucker Punch presents Ghosts of Tsushima. Act 1. Rescue Lord Shimura. Oh, I love a good Vista like this, guys. Oh, I'm a sucker for it. Map and Journal are now available. Tsushima Island. Rose, what's up? Thanks for coming out. How are you today? Explore Tsushima to discover new locations. 
This is the tale. <laughs> Complete tales to build your legend and acquire new resources and abilities. So that's like the main quest, I guess. As your legend grows, you will learn powerful new techniques. Choose your next destination and the wind will guide you. Nice. Yeah, I've... I remember hearing about that when they were talking about this game. Um, I think it was back when they announced it. Um, okay, so Yuna is searching for her brother, a blacksmith named Taka, who has been captured by the Mongols. She's checked on a lead near... She's checking on a lead near Ketchy Fishing. Rewards, major legend increase in focused hearing. The hell does focused hearing mean? Over here we've got the tale of Sensei Ishikawa. An Ishikawa tale, one of nine. Sensei Ishikawa never joined our battle against the Mongols at Komodo Beach. If he's still alive, I could use his skill with... Okay, how do I read the rest of that? I could use his skill with a bow to help rescue Lord Shimura, but first I have to find the sensei. <gasps> we get a bow for doing this. We're doing it right away. That's what's going to happen next, guys. How funny is the second time I come in this game at this time? Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot so far. It's, it's a good game. So far. Um, okay, so I mentioned at the start of the stream, we needed to chat a little bit about the language options. So this game has full audio tracks for both English and Japanese and French and Portuguese and Latino, Americano, Espanol, apparently. I didn't know they had the rest of those too. Um, part of me really wanted to play in Japanese because I think it just feels more authentic that way. And I like hearing the Japanese language. I like being immersed in it. I think it's a great language and I'd like to learn it someday. So like, I just like listening to it, but I have heard that, um, apparently they didn't bother to resync the lips with the Japanese voice track or any of the other tracks. So apparently it looks weird. <laughs> no, don't change the language. Um, apparently it looks weird if you play in any language besides English because it doesn't line up. And also, apparently people think that Jin's English voice actor is much better than his Japanese voice actor. So I was like, maybe we'll just go with English for this one. But, you know, it looks like we can change it at any time if we decide that we do want to go in and at least see it. The other cool thing about this game, guys, <coughs> excuse me, is that it has this thing called Kurosawa mode. So what this does is it applies a stylized black and white filter for an immersive cinematic experience. Basically, it turns the game black and white. And I believe it also sets it to Japanese language by default, if you do that. Um, which sounds kind of cool. The issue I have with that is that, A, apparently there's stuff in this game that is communicated to you via color in-game. It's like kind of like the language of the game is you have to be able to see color to know uh, what certain things are telling you. I don't know what those things are. This is just what I've heard from people who have played it. And then also... Um, it's just a beautiful game with great use of vibrant colors, and I want to see that stuff. So I think it's cool that this mode is in here, but I don't really plan on using it. So just wanted to point that stuff out. And it, it's called Kurosawa mode because it's named after a famous Japanese filmmaker named Akira Kurosawa, who I guess made films in black and white. Um, I'm not really familiar with any of that, but yeah, apparently it's, it's a cool little homage to, uh, a famous Japanese filmmaker. Nice. I can loot from horseback. That's awesome. That's a good thing. Nice. 
Mongol territory liberates Ogawa Dojo. I mean, do I want to do that right now? <laughs> Items and resources you collect are stored in the collections menu. Technique points and gold. Seems like something I would rather do once I have my bow. So we'll come back to that. Recover Sashimono banners. Yeah, so one of the other things about this game that I've heard and I can see now that I'm playing is they really want it to be as minimal as possible with the UI, which is a design philosophy that I really like and appreciate. And that's why instead of having like a big ugly arrow or path that takes you to your destination, you actually just follow the wind once you've set your goal of where you want to go. And I think it's a really nice touch. And it works pretty well in the context of the game with all the flowing grass and flowers and all that stuff. Is that a fucking bear that's coming after me? I just saw a bear paw pop up on screen. Quickly, come here. I don't want to... Oh, they're boars. Well, I'm going to come back and kill you guys once I have my bow. But for now, you can live. If I ever get a chance, watch some of his films. He's one of the most influential filmmakers of all time. That's awesome. Yeah, I... I, I regret to say I, I'd never even heard of him before I heard about his association with this game. I'm, I'm not a big film guy. You know, there are certain movies that I like, obviously. But I'm way more into video games than I am movies. So... Here we go. I was gonna say, how do I get off the horse? <laughs> we can't collect chests from horseback, apparently. One steel. Okay. Weird. It's circle to get off, but R2 to get on. Alright. I'll get used to that. Seven Samurais from him. Never seen it. Hiyoshi Springs. Man, I already love a lot of the environmental design in this game. Like, again, it's not the most technically impressive game I've seen. But the way they use what they have, it's like style over uh, technical prowess, I guess you'd say. Whoa, is this, is this what I want right now? <laughs> Where are we? Oh yeah, this is the place. Okay. Oh, sounds good, Valerian. Thanks for coming out, and I hope you have a great night, man. Take care of yourself. George Lucas stole so much of his film, The Hidden Fortress, for the original Star Wars. Really? I've never heard anything about that. Oh. <laughs> Flowers. Yoshi Springs. Perhaps someone at the inn can direct me to Sensei Ishikawa. Okay. Who are you? Do you need a new quiver or such? Not just yet. If you have hides to spare, I can offer you something in return. Oh, this is where we can sell stuff and get stuff, apparently. I'm sorry. I need more for that. Okay. Well, I don't want to buy any of this stuff right now. Don't really want to sell stuff either. Thank you. I'll make an offer for your good fortune. Okay, thanks, dude. Perhaps I can better your bow. Oh, a bowyer. Okay. Come back and see her. After I steal. <laughs> Steal her, steal her nondescript supplies. Because, you know, code of the samurai. Good 
good day, my lord. Oh. Very respectful. I wish I could say something back to that guy. Here, I'll bow to you. This is me bowing. It's not a tea bag. It's a bow. It'll become a tea bag when it's contextually appropriate. Okay. So, we gotta find the inn. Merchant. Lord Sakai, you survived the invasion? So far. Have we met before? Uh, no, my lord. But I watched you ride into battle. Please accept this gift. If you wear it, they say a spirit will lead you to whatever you're looking for. Sounds like something you could use yourself. Not with Mongols prowling the countryside. But if it leads you to any flowers, bring them to me. Or other traders. We can use them to fashion dyes. I'll remember that. Thank you. Sweet. Traveler's attire. Perfect for those with a long journey ahead. Okay. If you can bring more, it's yours. Oh, wow. Look at this. Snow Demon's eyes. I like that one. Sea Dragon's Wing. That's kind of a cool name. I want this Snow Demon one. Traveler's Attire. I don't have enough for any of this shit. Hmm. Yeah, um, so this game was made by Sucker Punch. As Norman said, they made Sly Cooper in Infamous. They also made a game that nobody knows about on the Nintendo 64. It's called Rocket Robot on Wheels. And it is a 3D platformer. And it's really, really good. Honestly, don't kill me for saying this, guys. I like that game more than I like Mario 64. <laughs> I do. You can now track new locations with the Guiding Wind. Guiding Wind Target? I'll see you again. Okay. Yeah, it was just really impressive because it came out like probably a couple years after Mario 64, but I, I feel like it did what Mario 64 did, but did it even better in a way, but like nobody knows that game exists. And it's a shame. Because it's awesome. You must be weary from battle. Come, soak in the healing waters of these hot springs. Replenish your strength for the challenges to come. I must be at my best for all of them. Then follow me, my lord. Rumored location added? Minor health increase. If we soak in this hot spring, apparently. Okay, so it's not just a heal. Bathing in the hot springs restores your spirit. And if you make a habit of it, the waters will grant you a long and prosperous life. Okay, well, I'm going to need that. For sure. Enter here. The waters are warm and cold. Oh yeah, I never played Banjo. Oh my god, I'm naked. Not safe for work. 18 plus stream. Reflect on my father or my uncle? Well, my uncle's who I'm trying to save. I thought they killed Lord Shimura. After everything he's done for me. Everything he taught me. I can't lose my uncle. I won't. 
game's cool. Maximum health increase. Nice. Oh, I thought they were going to show it. Just for a second there, guys. I thought they were going to show it. Such an improvement. Surely you will triumph over our enemies. I feel ready to take on the whole Mongol army. Thank you. It was my pleasure. There are hot springs all over the island. Make use of them. Take time to heal and reflect. The practice will keep your body ready for battle, my lord. Okay. So, where's this inn? Looks like it's right over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> A samurai. Right? I'm looking for Sensei Ishikawa. I thought he fell at Komoda. He didn't. Where is his dojo? To the forest. I can show you the way, my lord. That's very kind of you to offer. Must be nice to have a job Sensei where you can just drop what you're doing. Komoda? No. He came to town for surprise the day before the invasion. Hardly spoke a word, but he's always been a private mess. Ha, gotcha. Looting's pretty satisfying in this game, too, because it's so snappy. My lord, are the stories of Sensei Ishikawa true? What stories? They say he sank a pirate ship with a single arrow. <laughs> Not the ship, but he shot a pirate captain from the shore, routed the whole fleet. I'd hate to cross an archer like that. Do you deserve death? I hope not, my lord. Then you're safe from Ishikawa. All right, so it said... <coughs> it said the traveler's attire will pulse my lord. when there's an artifact the nearby. Um, and my controller's vibrating right now, so I there's something nearby. Me. And it looks like the guy's gonna wait for me. Okay, nice. You know your swords. That is one worth knowing. I've heard tales of its sharp edge and beauty, but I never dreamed I'd see it in person. It has been some time since I trained on a bamboo stand. I would be honored to see your blade in action. Guy wants a little demonstration. It's just like... DDR? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, okay. It's like command QTEs. I was born for this. I hit one wrong button. Ah, fuck you. You gotta be really quick. Okay. Damn it. Okay, this one's hard. I keep missing the last one. That's okay. I got it. I got it. Oh, wow. Well. Getting upgrades already, guys. The Sakai Steel is a truly fine blade, wielded by an even finer swordsman. But training with bamboo will only make you stronger. I'll need strength for what lies ahead. There are bamboo stands throughout the island. They will help sharpen your skills on the journey. Farewell, my lord. Nice. I like that. I like almost everything I've seen in this game so far. Except for the camera. <laughs> During combat. Other than that, this has been fucking awesome. One of 40 records. True observations in Hiyoshi Springs. Every night I have the same dream. I bring food to Sensei Ishikawa's dojo, but he's not there. All I find is dry blood on the floor of his dojo. In the dream, somehow I know he has been killed by a yokai that lurks in the bamboo forest. I go into the forest to hunt the yokai, even though I know it's dangerous. There's a break in the trees, and suddenly I find myself at our waterfall in Hiyoshi Springs, but it runs red with blood. Then I wake up. 
Okay. Is that a hint at something I should go do? I wonder. Oh, look, it tells you how many are in the game. 18 hot springs, 16 bamboo strikes. And then this is all our stuff. Okay, so those symbols were flowers. That's what we need to customize the way we look. Follow the winning guide. Oh, swipe up on this. Oh, that's so cool. If you swipe on the touchpad, it makes the wind gust so you can see where you're going. That is super cool. You got a cupcake and some pizza for a real quick snack? Dude, that's like a match made in heaven. I'm jealous. <laughs> Here we go, flowers. I wonder how many flowers are in this village. Like, enough to pit myself out? By the way, my controller stopped vibrating up in that area, so I can only assume that uh, the bamboo strike was the artifact it was talking about. So how many flowers do I have now? Okay. Collect artifacts to learn more about the Mongols. Resources you collect are stored in your satchel. Yep, got it. Seven. Okay. May I assist you, my lord? We're gonna need more than that. Tenth, tenth time is the charm. <laughs> yeah, I was uh. <laughs> For some reason, that, that last L1 hit didn't register with me, so I just wasn't hitting it. And now the controller is rumbling again. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I hit triangle there. But apparently he don't actually have to open the doors, you can just cut through them. That's really good to know. Ah. <laughs> uh. Music stories to remember. I not learned the good writing, but some writing, but some must writing down songs of the Biwahoshi. Very good stories, but he killed by invaders, then no more stories. Forget it by all. Long ago, there was bow using man. <laughs> he saved the town. Also, another bow using man who killed the demons, and the man who is very fast with katana swings. So many others. Write more tomorrow. Now go deliver supplies to Jade Hill's camp. Right. Oh, that's what an artifact is. The little... Little journal things. Okay. So we can open doors like a normal person. Or we can do that. <laughs> that is funny. Apparently there's yet another one around here somewhere. Hmm. I don't think I want to go down there just yet. Environment's not destructible. The beauty comes with a price. I'm trying to track down that artifact right now. I'm actually not getting a good signal anywhere I try. 
trade is difficult in these times, my lord. Where the hell did it go? It starts right around here, but then it drops out really quickly. Would you like to see what I have? if it is down this way. Oh, maybe it's that thing down there. Oof. Nope, that's just supplies. Maybe it's in the lake? Maybe. Which one are you talking about? I don't seem able to go underwater. Oh. That's uh, linen. Okay. Okay, getting another pulse. Oh, it must be up here. Wow, that triggered from pretty far off. Okay. Get on that ladder, dick. Deliver to Sensei Ishikawa. Lord Hirotsune Nagao urgently requests your presence in Komoda. I am instructed to give you my horse and all the supplies you require to make the journey immediately in defense of our lands. Please lay aside any concern for past misunderstandings, as his lordship assures you the archers of Clan Nagao recall their greatest exemplar with only the utmost fondness, respect, and devotion. Yasumasa Sasaki, captain of the right guard of Lord Hirotsune Nagao. Okay. Is there only like, is there 40 of those in the whole game or just in this area? Because I'm kind of surprised that we found three of them already. But after the 18 million documents that we had to read in The Last of Us 2, kind of sounds nice only having 40 of those in this game. This place isn't crazy big. I think we've kind of been everywhere at this point. At least most places. Let's see what we can do with this guy now. May I assist you, my lord? If you can bring more, it's yours. Yeah, we still need five. Uh, we still need eight more for the sword. Ah, oh, man, it, I, I wish I could at least make my. Traveler's outfit red, because I like the color red. Looks pretty good. We could give ourselves a Fierce Warrior's headband. Honestly, I think I'd rather save the flowers for right Come now, up. though. Alright, we'll have to come back and do that later. Man, that is such a cool effect. I was wondering about that earlier, because if you just tap on the touchpad, it doesn't do anything. Oh, weird. If I slide down on it... Is that how I bow to people? Oh, there's like a whole... What the fuck?
Apparently I can just pull out a flute and play it whenever I want. There's like a whole emote system built into this touchpad. That's really cool. What's up, lady? I return your honor. She acknowledged it. She said she's honored. That's awesome. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, let's get a move on. Shall we continue? That looks really out of place. That little cartoon bubble. <laughs> Forgive me, my lord, but you look fatigued. Have you endured much hardship? <laughs> you wouldn't believe it if I told you. But yes, I could use a rest. You should visit my sister in Hiyoshi Springs. I was sick, so she insisted I bathe in the waters. I could feel the life returning to my body. Sounds Already like did just that. what I need. <laughs> you are too late. But thanks anyway. I'm just gonna steal your leather. You don't need it. Also, I'm giving you a new door. Isn't that exciting? Um... Yeah, so that's good. It, it's it's nice to have a visual indicator that there's dialogue in there that I want to hear. Because it's possible that I hadn't done that, and that I would have been pissed that I missed it. But the whole cartoon bubble thing just stuck out in a really odd way. I feel like they probably could have devised a more elegant solution to that. I don't know what it would be. Listen, I'm just the critic, okay? I'm not the idea guy. The sensei's dojo is up there on the cliff. Okie dokie. Thanks, Mr. Innkeeper. Thank you. I'll take it from here. One more question, my lord. May I ask why the sensei left his post as archery master to clan Nagao? No one knows. Strange. Giving up service to a great lord for... this. Well, I'm sure he had his reasons, right? I mean, come on. I wonder if climbing's the only way to get up there. Who's this guy? Dude. Lord Sakai, I studied poetry with your uncle. I wish I had a way to like zoom in and get like a like a good clean shot of that landscape right there. The Mongols have taken Lord Shimura captive. Mm. He will endure. He is strong and resilient, skilled in the art of combat and poetry. Do you practice haiku, my lord? There is no time during war. War is the reason to make time. Haiku allows one to concentrate, eliminate chaos. To find peace. Precisely. My favorite place to write lies atop the cliff. It is one of many such places. If you look, you will find inspiration all across Tsushima. I hope I can find quiet places like this one. Untouched by war. Look for the birds. They will show you the way. Okay. Yoshi Haiku. I don't know what that's all about, but it sounds cool. I really, really dig the whole vibe of this game. Like the aesthetic, the samurai backdrop, the way everything looks. It's just a freaking gorgeous game.
Got a full day-night cycle. Got some Assassin's Creed style climbing. Not sure how easy it is to fail these, like... If I drop now, does he grab... He just auto-grabs the one below him? Okay. So there is a path up here. I didn't have to make that climb. <laughs> And we may have found flowers along the way. Oh well. We'll run back down on our way out. What are you buying? Uh, every game should have that. What the hell is this? Alzora headband. Optimism in the face of adversity is the samurai spirit. Oh wow, so I just get a free headband to wear? Okay. There was a struggle here. Better look around. Oh no. Someone was wounded. Remove the arrow. Dried blood. The fight wasn't recent. Well, that doesn't bode well. Not at all. <laughs> Just disrespecting the hell out of everybody's house. Guess we got something else to look at in here. Bloody footprints. The victim or the attacker. Maybe the sensei is in his house. Kind of hard to see at night. But it appears to be leading this way. Humble home for a samurai. Hmm. A humble home? Why can't I take these flowers right here? Those are flowers. I want all the flowers. <laughs> Is cutting doors the new breaking glass? No, it's not nearly as satisfying as that was. I don't really get that rush of euphoria when I do it. I just find it amusing. <laughs> don't move. Sensei Ishikawa. Lord Sakai's boy. You survived Komoda. We could have used your bone. I was on my way when bandits attacked me. Expecting them to return? A samurai is never caught by surprise. <coughs> I'm sorry about Lord Shimura. He was a good man. He's alive. Taken captive by the Mongols. Then there's hope. That's why I've come. Help me save him. I can't. My student is missing. A skilled archer. I will help you look. Then you can both help me free Lord Shimura. Try and keep up, Sakai. <laughs> me too, Joe. Me too. Is this guy voiced by that guy from Lost that was in all of the Dharma Initiative videos? The older Asian guy? Because he even kind of looks like him around the eyes. Are there any others who can fight back? Besides us? I don't know yet. You'd better find out quickly. We can't free your uncle by ourselves. And he sounds pretty similar, too. I can't swear that it's him, but I think it might be him. 
I can help track your student. I need no help tracking Tomoe. Tomoe? A woman? From what clan? No clan. A peasant. But she can outshoot any samurai I know. <laughs> Even you, Sakai. I don't know how to shoot. <laughs> but I'm gonna learn. The last time I saw you was ten years ago. You came to study with me. You remember? I remember most of the students I reject. Instead, you took this Tomoe as your student. You showed promise. Tomoe is a prodigy. This guy's bow looks awesome. Mongols, Ooh. looking for me? Staying off time, bitches. I will say that's a little too easy. I hope that gets harder as the game goes on. Okay, gotta remember how to fight again. Uh, no, you guys are not gonna stand over here and do that. Just stop. Fight like drunk Tanuki. They fought well enough at Komoda. Even Tanuki can catch a tiger when it's sleeping. Tanuki. <laughs> awesome. The moist trail picks up here. Come. Well, that guy's sheath kind of looks like a Tanuki tail, doesn't Mongos it? Mongols took Fort Nakayama. That patrol likely came from there. That's close to the hot springs. The town will be the next to fall. Well, let's go kill everybody. Stop Something from happening. Here. An ambush. Look around. Blood, but not much. No one died. You don't know that. Could have been strangled. A Japanese quiver. A gift to my greatest student. So it'd be wrong if I took this? <laughs> Rice and millet. Left uneaten. The attack was sudden. I fear the worst. Tomoe would never leave the quiver behind. Unless she was pursued. Or captured. To what end? Interrogation. Torture. Worse. They may be doing the same to Lord Shimura. Fear is a weapon, Sakai. Do not let the Mongols use it against you. Your student. Where would they take her? Fort Nakayama. The fort is nearby. I should have fought the Komura with you. Better you didn't. We lost enough there. Why did the samurai fail? The Mongols fought like animals. Wrong answer. I saw it with my own eyes. An archer's aim relies not on eyes, but on body, mind, and spirit. Is that true? Because the eyes still seem pretty important to me. But what do I know? I don't even have a bow. Stop here. We need to talk. What's wrong, Sensei? This bow was a gift to me from Lord Nagao many years ago. Yes. It's a beautiful weapon. Of course it is. And there's nothing more painful to me than a perfect bow ineptly used. <laughs> then it's a good thing you're giving it to me. <laughs> <clears throat> Who said anything about giving? Prove you can shoot straight. I'll let you borrow it. <laughs> okay. Try it out before we go into battle. Half bow. Moderate damage and draw speed. Once a gift from Lord Nagao to Sensei Ishikawa. Now wielded by the Sensei's new students. Oh, look. The weapons have stats and everything. That's really cool. And multiple levels of upgrades. I like that. You can see how good it gets the more you upgrade it. That's awesome. And it even tells you what it takes. Okay. They, they've, did, they've done some good stuff with the UI in this game. Some really good stuff. Even if, like, design-wise, it doesn't always look the best, it's very functional. 
which I appreciate a lot. Aim for that lamp closest to us. All right. So here's the big question. Do we have drop off? It looks like we do because it's already there on my reticule. Did that not count? Oh, he wants that one? Okay. Good. Now the one further down the road. On the left. Not bad. Let's see if you can hit the one furthest away. How does it feel? Like it was made for me. It wasn't. So take good care of it. Let's go. Well, it wasn't. It cracks me up. How do I get my arrows back? A bow like this would have helped at Komodo. It is a good bow, but victory is won by warriors, not weapons. You haven't seen the Mongols fire weapons. They have not yet won. Yeah, they do seem to be doing some next level shit. Stuff that they shouldn't have here in whatever year this is. 1400 something. Fort Nakayama. I hope your student is inside. Or is it 1200 something? It's, it's the 13th century. So it's 1200 something. I always get that mixed up for some reason. It's one of those dumb brain things I have. We'll get a better look at the defenses from up there. We're going to take out this whole fort because that sounds awesome. Are those explosive barrels right there? Does this game actually have explosive barrels? Hold on. I, got, I gotta try something here. Real men knife the explosive barrels! This spot is perfect. I guess we can't do that. <laughs> I'll find a way in. Open the gate. Then we hit them. Do you always charge into battle with your Hakama half tied? You have a better idea? Patience, Sakai. The Mongols will send men to find their missing patrol. When they open the gates, we strike. The longer we delay, the longer Tomoe remains in danger. She can take care of herself. Survey the battlefield. <clears throat> what can we use to our advantage? I mean, if they haven't killed her yet, they're probably not going to, right? Those barrels could do some damage. We'll find out. Yeah, but not from the sword. Hornet nests. One shot could stir them up. Mm, the Mongols will face the sting of insects and arrows. Nice. Nice. An arrow in those hanging lights will kick up sparks. <laughs> and start fires. They have many archers. They're skilled, but we are better. When the gates open, distract the enemy and rain arrows on their heads. Then we storm the fort. Free, Tomoe. Good. Now we wait. I only have one arrow, though. Can I craft more? They're opening the gates. Wait for my signal. Oh, they gave him back to me. Okay, good. You gonna give the signal? Oh, we're waiting for the procession. Okay. can't hold it forever. Now, send them to their ancestors. <laughs> Shit. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Oof. Oh. cover very well when you're shooting.
That's a guy. There are more inside. Not for long. Let's find some way. That was pretty fun, not gonna lie. I enjoyed that. When it says six supplies, what are the supplies? Took three arrows and is still standing. Are you kidding me? That's a lot of arrows. Oh. Whoops. of my homeboy. Oh, he's down here getting fucked up. <laughs> Kill or absorb more leaders to unlock water stance? What? Alright. I'm not sure if I was supposed to fight that guy or what, like... Seems like uh, Ishikawa here took care of most of it. Okay. Wow. I wasn't expecting. Shit, guys. <coughs> that was crazy. Uh, he did like a an undeflectable attack with swords. I wasn't ready for that. And there's no checkpoints. Okay. Oh, wait, no. It did checkpoint us from the first part. And I should not jump down like that. Because this game has fall damage. <laughs> and a lot of it. Alright, we're learning. I can't see because of the fucking sun glare. Alright, alright. I'm scared. I'm scared to fight this guy. I can't tell if I'm getting headshots or not. But nobody's dying to a single shot. Gotta get those upgrades. Alright, buddy. Ow, fuckers! That was close. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Man. I tried to do like a running attack. He was ready for it. They could just close the gates. They could. But they didn't think to do that. It's a little tricky, this part. It's coming this way. We might have better shots at the archers from over here. Fuck. He won that one. It's okay. <laughs> Damn it. Turns out this is not a better approach. I'm getting my freaking ass kicked. Jeez. Come on. Oh. Traded death shots. Okay, let's go back to the other side. I guess I gotta get better at dodging those arrows. That's where a lot of my damage is coming from. That probably helps a bit, too. Oh, some of them are smart, though. Look at that. See, I couldn't see that other attack coming. That was better. Still not done, though. Oh my god. Fuckers. Did I do it? I think I did it. We've got to get a bigger quiver. Five arrows is shit. Especially when some of these dudes can take like four shots. Oh, what's up, Bo? Sorry about that. Just made it really easy. Couldn't help myself. You heard that normal is not that easy in this game? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, that was a challenging encounter for sure, but it was mostly my fault that I was losing. I wasn't using the stuff in the environment, and I wasn't dodging the arrows. Oh. Okay. Slain prisoners. Tied up. Killed with arrows. Tomoe isn't. Wait, this pendant belongs to her. Search the fort! What do you think I was doing?
Someone's personal quarters. A woman's kimono. Tomoe's kimono. The Mongols freed her. Why? Hmm. Wait, can I grab those from the other side of this? Nice. That is awesome. Archery terms with Mongolian translations. <coughs> Your name is mentioned. She was teaching them my way of the bow. So she betrayed us? Or is that what she had to do to stay alive? It was either that or... You can get set on fire. Now I know that, you know, some of these people are samurais and they have their own code. I'm just saying that for me, if it was a choice between teaching somebody how to shoot or being set on fire, I'm going to teach them how to shoot. <laughs> That's just my own personal choice. These arrows are Japanese. They're Tomoe's arrows. You are sure? I taught her to make the knock with deer horn and that curve of the eagle feathers. So the Mongols took her weapons? The shots are tightly clustered. No Mongol shoots Japanese arrows with such skill. Huh. Then they allowed her to use a bow. Somebody needs help. That. A survivor. Hold on a second. This is bothering me. I've got to check on... Yeah, okay, we got a new weapon. Yep, I know. Uh, if we go to Satchel... Okay, so supplies are just a generic resource. They can be traded with trappers, swordsmiths, armors, or bowyers. Okay. That's good to know. Because I, I was really curious about that. Every time I saw supplies, I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> so cold. We're looking for a woman, an archer. The Mongols caged her with us. But they set her free, gave her armor and a bow. She killed my wife and the others. The bodies we found. She proved her skill to the enemy, and they recruited her. Please. It, it hurts. Don't leave me. <laughs> I've seen enough. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. I just snorted because that made me laugh so hard. That got a snort out of me. <laughs> just, I'm ready to die now. I'm just going to bury my head in the sand. <laughs> oh, what's going on up there? Uh! Sensei? The boy won her freedom. She fell in the mountains. Why would she do that? What happened? I pushed her too hard. Pushed her how? What are you hiding? Oh, it's just the arrows. Sensei! What's your deal, dude? I demand an answer. She attacked me. Not bandits. Why? She has no idea what it means to be samurai. You drove her to the Mongols. Do not judge me. Do not lie to me. I can't let Tomoe teach my way of the bow to the enemy. Then we will stop her. This is my fight. I don't need your weapon. No, you need me. Victory is won by warriors, not weapons. <laughs> Lord Shimura raised you well. We'll hunt them away together. 
But we do it my way. And when the time comes, you will help rescue my uncle. You have my word, Sakai. And I get to keep I will your bow. prepare to hunt Tomoe. When you are ready, meet me at my dojo. We can't rescue my uncle alone. I need more people to join our fight. Fine lady Masako Adachi. If she's still alive, she's one of the finest warriors on the island. Hmm. <laughs> Tale of Sensei Ishikawa. So we recruited him? How does... How does that work? Look at the horse showing me some love. <laughs> okay, we earned a technique point. Use it to learn powerful new techniques that will... <clears throat> that will aid your fight against the Mongols. Wow, there's a lot to this game. Okay. So we've got... Deflection and Evasion. There's also Mythic, Legendary Combat Arts. And Exploration skills down there, but... Looks like we gotta go down this tree. I actually, I can't even move down to see what these trees lead to. Which I actually don't like. Because I need to know what I'm working towards to know which one I care about. You know what I mean? But right now we can choose between deflection and... Um, a, 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 we can choose between a perfect parry and a roll. That's a big freaking roll. Wonder if that's more useful than a regular dodge. Perfect parry seems awesome though. I think we're definitely gonna go with that. Gotta get good at that. If I get more bamboo, I can upgrade the bow. Journal updated. Oh, there's journals. That's right, I forgot about the journal. I don't know if we really need to be reading through these. Is this the one we just got from him? The Tale of Lady Moscow? I think it is. Okay. Samurai clan armor as a reward for that. That seems all right. And when this says assassination on here, <coughs> that means that we get that as a reward too. The actual assassination skill. So we should probably go do that, I guess. Um, which I think is what we'll do next time. But I think I should probably wrap it up here, guys. It sucks because I... I want to keep playing because <laughs> I'm really liking this game, but I can feel the cough coming on pretty bad. This is the most I've talked in like two weeks, by the way. It's just streaming and talking to you guys. Uh, I have not been social. I've not really had contact with anybody in the last two weeks. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> it's probably making my voice a little raw. Um, and the back, it, it actually doesn't really hurt that much right now, surprisingly, but I think it's going to as soon as I stand up. I think it's going to be one of those deals where when I go to stand, it's, it's going to kick in and I'm going to be like, oh, like all the pent up ache from sitting here is just going to unleash. That's usually how it goes. So um, I'm not going to wait too much longer. I'm going to uh, wrap this up here. I guess this game saves automatically. Oh, here we go. I've seen it auto saving, but I, I like having a hard save as well. Because, come on. So yeah, that's the, like the first two hours of Ghost of Tsushima, guys. Seems really cool so far. You know, I gotta tell you, I was, um... I was listening to the Giant Bomb cast. They were talking about this game. And they seemed really down on it. Got me kind of worried, because I was like, Oh, it seems like they don't really like it that much. I wonder if it's gonna end up sucking. But so far, I think it's really good. Like, it's not perfect. But... They've done some really 
cool stuff with the UI. I like a lot of the design choices they've made. I think it feels good to play. Like, it's, the controls are snappy. Jin feels good to run around as. Combat seems good so far, and it'll keep being fleshed out. Um, so as long as they, they keep, like, raising the challenge and then giving me new stuff to meet those challenges and we keep evolving and getting better, it's, it seems like it's going to be really satisfying. So, yeah, I think it'll be cool. Um, thank you guys for coming out. Thank you so much, Gonas, Joe, Norman, Blue, Rose. I appreciate all you guys. Thanks for coming out to the stream, even though, even though I hadn't been on for like two weeks. Um, I don't think I'll be doing the Stardew Chill stream in the morning. I mean, if I wake up and I feel great, then I might do it. But normally, sleeping in the bed is painful right now. So I've either been sleeping in the recliner which is not good sleep, but then it doesn't hurt as much when I wake up or sleeping in bed, which is better sleep, but then I'm in a lot of pain when I wake up. So I don't know. Fuck my life. Um, so yeah, I probably don't count on a Stardew Chill stream tomorrow. There's a slim possibility, but I'll probably wait until later in the day. Um, I'll probably wake up and relax and make sure that I'm, I'm feeling good. And then we can do another Ghost of Tsushima stream, hopefully another two hours or so tomorrow during the day. So, uh, yeah. Um, follow me on Twitter and Facebook to know when I go live or enable notifications on Twitch, which is probably the better way. But, you know, however you want to do it. Uh, okay, I'm out. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night. See you then. Bye.